Let's see if here. Bet like I never left with another wig review. So today we have the most highly reviewed best thing on YouTube that you've ever seen. Y'all already know what it is. It is the Sensational What Lay Solana wig. You guys really don't need me to tell you about this wig because it has a million views on YouTube. However, what you do need to see is me try this bald cap for the very first time. So I am on my way to brunch actually and so I had a rush so I really didn't get to get into the bald cap like I wanted to. <laughs> I didn't get to get into the bald cap like I wanted to but I did give it a try because I just really needed like an update. Like I needed to feel like my edges was on fleek and you guys know I have never successfully cut baby hair into a wig. Today was not that day. It still wasn't that day, but I got one swoop. That's all we need for brunch. That's all you need for brunch is one swoop. So you guys stay tuned. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I put on the wig, put on the ball cap, laid the edges. I don't think I got the baby hair on, on film, but that's okay. Um, and then I'll come back a little bit later and I'll give you my review. After I wear it a couple times, I'm going to give you my review on this wig overall. So thank you guys so much for watching and let's just get into it. Okay, so we just go get it to it. Look at the Cleos. So what I'm going to do first is going to take a little bit of my got to be glued gel and slick those edges back and put on my new cap bam gonna go ahead in with the dryer get that slick so before i did this i didn't know i should probably put the cap uh below my ears well below my ears it's okay it's fine so what i'm doing now is i'm just taking that got to be glued around the perimeter getting that cap glued down and a little bit with the dryer again not new to this i'm true to this Actually, I'm, I'm definitely new to this. Definitely. Please don't make fun of me, y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with my little nail scissors. And I'm going to try to cut that cap off. It's looking like the ghetto. But that's fine. We're just... You got to start somewhere. And this is where I'm starting. And I'm starting to get agitated with them little scissors. So I went ahead and picked up my kitchen scissors. Get that cap cut off. So I was supposed to go in with a powder that was matching my skin tone. To blend that cap in. Definitely chose the wrong powder, but that's okay. I'm going to end up fixing it later. I try to go on with a darker shade to get, get it looking a little better right now, but it's really not given what needs to be gave, but that's okay. Um, if you've used the wrong one, don't worry. So, you know what time it is. Let's get right into the wig. Go and pop that on. Pop, pop, pop the wig. Pop, pop the wig, baby. Okay, so I'm just going to line that up. Make sure it's looking right, looking tight. Make sure you can't really see that cap underneath. And then I'm going to go into the edge of that cap with a little bit of liquid foundation and try to fix where I didn't use the correct uh, product before so it doesn't look so uh, Crypt Keeper-y. So now I'm just making sure everything is lined up, everything looks good, and I'm going to actually get ready to pin the hairs back to get ready to glue that wig down. Is the cap really noticeable? Hmm? Is it really noticeable? I mean, I see a brown. You know. Are you talking about the scalp? I'm talking about the brown thing that your hands are on. Oh, this. Yeah. This is. Oh. <laughs> you cut this part off, babe. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. I, okay, you've never probably done this with a wig before. <laughs> and so I was like, what you gonna do with that? Like, yeah, I don't know. What else you talking about? Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and clean our forehead with a little bit of alcohol to make sure that everything can stick nice and stickily. I don't, okay, I made that up. I just did that. And so this time what I'm actually trying is something I never tried before, which is putting the wig down and spraying the got to be glued right through the front of the perimeter instead of spraying it first and then laying the wig. So as you see, I just sprayed it around the hairline and then I used the blow dryer. I actually did not end up liking this method because I feel like I just had a lot more got to be glued left around the perimeter and you could really see it. Um, I now use alcohol afterwards, but you could just really see that leftover residue um, in pictures and so I, I wasn't a fan. And so while I'm letting it dry, I'm going to take my comb and I'm just going to go in that hairline and kind of push some of those 
hair is forward so it starts to look more natural. Then we, <laughs> damn Kayla, back at it again with the two small scissors. Y'all, I have gigantic hands. These baby scissors like kill me. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the cap as well. I will say the hairline did come out better cutting the cap on my head. Just because I have like a really big head. So it was just it just came out better in the long run. And so what I'm going to do now is take a little bit of my foundation, my Maybelline Superstay in color coconut. And I'm going to take that into the hairline so that you don't see that demarcation of the cap. If my bald cap would have been better, then you wouldn't need to do this. Okay. Um, but my bald cap, <laughs> my bald cap was giving bald headed. It was my first time. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of blend that cap into the hairline a little bit more. So I'm so sorry, but I didn't get to lay the baby hairs. Um, but as you can see, I did just cut a few baby hairs and um, I'll let you get into it. Let's go. The makeup fell in line, but not the baby hairs, but that's okay. Can't have it all. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to take my blow dryer and I'm going to blow down the back. So it kind of removes a little bit of that hump. I just have an egg head anyway, so I always get a little humpy in the head. My head always a little humpy, don't be lovely. But I'm going to take my blow dryer and just apply a little heat to flatten that out. And you see it did flatten that out quite a bit. I love the swoop in the front. It's giving. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned and I'm going to give you guys my final review on this wig overall. Let's go. Hey you guys, it's me, the Lush D here. And I know I told you guys I was gonna come back and give you my review on the Sensational Solana What Lace after I wore it a couple times. And so I've worn it one and a half good times and I'm ready to give you guys my final review. So this is not my first time at the rodeo with Sensational What Lace. Um, and what I wanna say about these wigs is that what they give you in lace and hairline and scalp they take from you in hair quality. And I really don't like that because these aren't, these are synthetic wigs, but they're not particularly cheap. They probably run like $50, $60. Um, if you're a wig wearer, you know, like 30, 40 is more along the range. You know, 50, 60 is supposed to be getting you like a pretty decent wig. And for sensational what lace wigs, like you really can just wear them like one good time, one or two good times, glue that lace down. And that's all you're going to get before they start ratting up. So I've actually only worn this wig out one time. This is the second time I put on my head. And just that one time, like, it just got so ratty. And I didn't even, I went to brunch. Um, and so I I don't know. I would definitely say the sensation if I could talk to them like, baby girl, I will pay $20 more on the wig, $30 more on the wig if the hair quality was better. Like, I'm willing to pay you guys for it a little bit more to get some better synthetic hair quality. Like this is some of the worst synthetic hair that you could put on a cap. Like it's just, it just tangles really bad. And so I'm a little bit disappointed in Sensation Nail. I'm still gonna buy Wet Lace, but just know that if you're buying Wet Lace, like it's for a special occasion, it's for a one-time wear, it's for filming, you know, your blog or your content or whatever, but it's not anywhere suitable enough for, to, to, for you to wanna wear this like, a couple times a week or to get like a good month out of wear so for me as a wig wearer i like to get a good month of wear out of my wigs um that doesn't mean wearing it every day but that means from from opening up from unboxing till the time where i feel like okay i need to retire it i want to be able to throw that wig on in any time in the 30 day period and make it happen for this sensational what lace wig, that's not going to happen. Like, next week, I will not be able to throw this wig on and make it happen. It's going to look like a rat's nest at the bottom. As you can tell, I mean, look what it's giving right now. Look what it's giving. Oh, it's also giving tomato in my bra. Um, So, yeah, just be aware of that. I love sensational. I love what lace, but the hair quality is not going to give you guys everyday wear. Like, you really want out of a wig like this. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm in the bed. I'm getting ready to go to sleep. And I'll be back like I never left with another rig review in no time. Thank you guys for watching.